Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to share a few of the books and fun resources we are using for the Gather Round Dinosaurs unit. All right, you guys, I'm just gonna be completely honest. I didn't buy anything for this unit as far as extras. Um, well, there's one like one dollar thing um, that I bought for this one uh, because we have been in a massive dinosaur kick for I don't even know how long several months now so everything that I will show you today are a mixture of things that I've purchased before they're from birthday all kinds of different things everything that I can link for you of course will be linked in the description below um, but yeah, it's a pretty quick list because again, we've been doing dinosaurs for a long time. So, uh, I just wanted to share some of the fun things that we already have. Um, but to be quite honest, we're not really adding a lot of extra to this. We're pretty well just, uh, going to be doing the unit, doing some of the fun things that we have and reading some of the books and that's just that. So let's get into it. All right, so first let's go with crafty type things. And basically I have this cool little dinosaur light up skeleton. Uh, I happened to snag this from Michael's as part of their Halloween decor. Uh, it says it was $6. I'm pretty sure I only paid like two or three. So she'll color that, uh, I don't know, maybe at the end or something. Uh, and then really the only other thing as far as craft type stuff are this plethora of paintings. Um, <laughs> there are so many, um, but I did want to share this uh, website with you. I'll have it linked below, um, but I'm sharing this one because uh, all of the coloring pages are uh, free from what I could tell and they actually print out like the full page. You know, sometimes you'll print a coloring page and it's only like a small little section or they're too detailed and it's just really hard to, to color them. She specifically wanted to paint and so sometimes that's really hard. So uh, this website, it's, it's called Homemade Gifts madeeasy.com. Again, I'll have it in the, I'll have it linked in the description so you guys can just click there. I don't know if they have more than just dinos. Uh, they could have other things. I'm not sure. I didn't look around a whole lot, but all of these <laughs> came from, um, uh, that website and, uh, I have enjoyed them. They print well, they're nice and big, they're simple. So, I'll link that for you, but that's it for, for crafts. Um, outside of what small things the unit itself may call for, that's really all of the extra we're doing for that. Uh, of course, we have this massive bin of all kinds of dinosaurs. She plays with these all of the time. So uh, I just, this Tupperware thing is from Target, I think. Uh, and I will see if I can find some cool dino sets on Amazon for you. Maybe I can go back to like her birthday list or something and find some. But these are several sets uh, and she will just play with these whenever. I am quite sure uh, you guys have seen these make an appearance in some of our day in the lives or morning times or something like that. So those are always around. So really the last thing are just these books. Now, uh, none of these books, there's only one that is um, biblically based or um, creation based or anything like that. Everything else is um, secular from what I can tell and uh, that's, that's what you get from them. You know, dinosaurs millions of years ago, uh, all of the periods, all of that kind of stuff. So just kind of a heads up depending on what you're looking for. Um, that's what I have here. Um, the first one I shared this before, um, maybe like in a book outlet haul or something, but what was the age of dinosaurs? We read this already, um, when we got it originally, because again, she was just into dinosaurs. So I got it for that reason. 
Um, we liked it okay. Uh, it does, it, I, I feel like I remember it relying heavily on um, Charles Darwin and evolution uh, and things like that. Uh, yeah, so it was okay. There was a lot of information in it. Um, and we did read the whole thing. Uh, there were some parts I skipped over and, and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so I, we will not be reading this one again necessarily for this unit because I do want us to go ahead and get started in, uh, a new read aloud, just a fun, another fun read aloud. But nonetheless, since, since we do have it, uh, and it's for dinos, I wanted to go ahead and share it with you guys. So what was the age of dinosaurs? Um, next is, this is the only one we have, um, that is, uh, Christian based or anything like that. And that's Dinosaurs for Little Kids by Ken Ham. Now, this was not the one, uh, that I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting, uh, there's another one that's called Dinosaurs by Ken Ham. Maybe it's Dinosaurs for Kids instead of Dinosaurs for Little Kids, um, I don't, I don't remember exactly. All I know is it's got like a big massive T-Rex on the front uh, or maybe it's a raptor or something. I don't know. You'd have to ask my daughter what it is. But um, anyway, so this wasn't the one that I was thinking, but we do like this one. This is, um, it's just a, a good little picture book uh, and it does take on a creation, young earth um, type, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Um, that's creation, young earth. That is what Ken Ham, uh, believes in. And so that is what it portrays through this book. And then of course ends with the story of Jesus. So we do like this one. Um, we've actually read this one already a couple of times. Uh, and so this is up on the bookshelf. I'm sure we'll read it a couple more times. This was a random Ollie's find. The Age of Dinosaurs. This one my daughter likes because it's a little bit easier to read and for her, um, but it's just random facts about dinosaurs and all kinds of things. So this one is pretty good. All right. Uh, this next one is probably my favorite just because it's so cool. And it is the Usborne Shine a Light series. Um, and this one is Dinosaur or Dinosaurs. Um, but if you are familiar with the Shine a Light, then you know you have your page here and then it asks you, what can you see? And you take a little light and shine behind and you get these that kind of shine through the ocean here. It's really really kind of cool. Um, and so we do like this one. And then of course, illustrations are fun. My daughter likes this one as well. We actually have a couple Shine a Light books and I'd like to get a few more really. Um, but anyways, so this is the Usborne Shine a Light Dinosaurs. This one's really fun. And then the last thing I have for books, um, this I 100% know this was a birthday present and um, there's actually a lot of really good stuff in here, but that's because it's a National Geographic. And so it is the ultimate Dinopedia. And there is anything and everything you could ever want to know about dinosaurs in here. Uh, and when they say ultimate Dinopedia, they mean like, I mean, dinosaurs that you would have never even thought had existed. Uh, there are so many of them. And it actually gives you quite a bit of information there, um, where they lived, uh, what their name means, where they were discovered, uh, their classifications up here. So this one is really cool too. If you have a dino lover, this one is a must get for sure. And that's really it, you guys. That's really all that we're using for this one. Uh, we are winding down, um, getting into the holidays and fall and, and all of that stuff. And so I just, I just didn't want to spend any extra on extras. 
uh, for this unit because like I said, we already have a lot of things we've already done, like the, the fossil digging eggs. That's really cool. There are a lot of cool things out there. Um, I just didn't buy them because we've already done those. We did those for her birthday. She actually had a dinosaur birthday party. And so we did all of that kind of stuff. Um, but there are a lot of things. So that's pretty much it for uh, resources that we are using for dinosaurs. Of course, if you watched my uh, flip through, which I will link up here for you guys, uh, you can always get the QR code from the front of the teacher's guide. And that will even give you uh, cool uh, videos and additional books and resources and things too. So since I didn't really do a lot for this one, that would be another good place to go to get some extra cool things if you guys are planning on doing the dinosaur unit. So that's it for today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.